To build the frame for the school bus walls and ceiling, they bend steel beams into bow shapes. A hydraulic machine with pushers does the job in seconds, achieving an exact radius. The bows will serve as ribs for the school bus body. They make several bows for each bus. The precise number depends on the bus size and capacity. Workers plug the ends of the bows into holes in steel rails and secure them with bolts. They weld lateral supports higher up and the cage-like skeleton of the school bus takes shape. They're now ready to build on this framework. They attach the metal windshield surround. The team then moves the steel side sheets and skirting into place. They secure these panels with super strong adhesive and numerous rivets. Using cables and nylon straps, they pull steel sheets to the roof structure to make them conform to the contours. The steel is 20 gauge, a grade that's flexible enough to be easily bent. The cables hold the steel panels tightly to the roof structure, while the workers rivet them to it. The number of rivets and the strength of the joints are among many government safety standards the school bus must meet. Working from the inside, they glue fiberglass insulation into the pockets of the cage to keep the bus warm in winter and cool in summer. The insulation will also muffle road noise and absorb some of the din of student chatter for a quieter ride. The team installs steel panels on the ceiling. These panels have tiny perforations to allow sound to escape into the insulation. They tape up the windows and doors and sand some areas as they now prepare to paint the exterior of the bus. The paint, National School Bus Yellow, takes the metal from dull to bold. This shade was developed specifically for school buses and can be noticed even with peripheral vision. With the paint now dry, they open the doors and lay a plywood subfloor inside. It too will absorb noise. An employee drives the chassis over to the school bus body production line and parks it. Using cables, they lift the bus body over to the chassis. At over three and a half tons, it's hefty. so they gently lower it onto the frame rails and mate the front to the hood. They tie the body to the frame with heavy-duty clips. They arrange the seating to surround the passengers with cushioning. This is called compartmentalization because it creates compartments around the occupants to protect them in a collision. Outside, a worker applies school bus lettering so there's no mistaking that that's what this is. Another worker presses an adhesive-backed manufacturer's emblem to the hood. They equip the bus with the flashing lights and stop signs to get the attention of other drivers when children are loading and unloading. They also install a crossing gate to keep children within the bus driver's sight line. They test all of the warning lights and safety devices. And satisfied that everything is operational, the bus rolls off the production line. It's taken a day and a half to build it. And when it comes to an education, it's ready to deliver. <laughs>